Well, an Illinois mother recently turned her unbearable pain into an act of unconditional love. She had to bury her teenage daughter, but before saying goodbye, Kathleen Dixon said yes to keeping parts of Kira alive. Alexis Carpello tonight has more on how that decision to donate her daughter's organs impacted the lives of at least five people. We struggle every day with the whole. Kira was about to start her senior year at Dixon High School when she passed away. Kathleen Dixon, Kira's mom, was faced with the decision whether or not to donate her daughter's organs. It was a very difficult decision to make, um, but I felt that she was a very compassionate person and she would, if she was done with this body in this lifetime, that she would want to give it to, to someone else who could use that those organs to have more time. She ended up saving five lives. I don't know who the, the recipients of her um, organs were, um, but I did receive a letter back from one person who received her liver, and they were also Mexican American. 109,000 Americans are waiting for organs. Among those waiting, there's a disparity of minority groups. The gap exists because. African Americans and other minorities have a mistrust of health care. In 2019, a breakdown of those waiting for an organ donation showed 40% were Caucasians, 29% African American, 20% Hispanic, and 11% Asian Native American. That same year, the recipients of those life saving organs were 54% white, 22% African American, 17% Hispanic, and 6% Asian Native American. So you can see the disparity in the number of people who are receiving transplant. When we have have ethnic minorities donate to other ethnic, ethnic minorities, then you have a less chance of rejection of the organ because of the genetic makeup. However, she says bottom line, donation is donation. We can all donate to each other. 